Hey what's up guys welcome to another tutorial of PHP and MySQL series and in today's video I'm going to teach you that how you can perform delete operation using Ajax. So without any delay let's start. So first of all I will open my code editor in the fetch.php which actually display data when we click on this load data button. You can see that first of all I will refresh this no data will be loaded but when i will click on this load data this data will be loaded to our uh, this part of our web page using ajax and that data is actually coming from fetch.php file similarly we have to do one more thing i will just copy and paste this line from here and here i will type a name fa trash which is a class to display delete icon and instead of edit we will call a function named delete record and the data id would be same similarly i will copy this function from here open the index.php and at this position we know that because we have add one more td so we have to add one more header to display heading like delete so that's it and one more thing i will okay first of all let me refresh this and click on load data nothing is happened okay but now you can see that when I again click on this button this delete icon is loaded successfully I will open my index.php file scroll up and here I will copy this class from here which is actually fa trash paste in my CSS and just we will copy these two lines and paste them here and its color would be red so now our this delete icon will look like this next as you know that we have called a function named delete record so I will copy this and create this function in the last of my JavaScript code like this here I will pass the alim and that's it and similarly we have to do the same step for our delete record and next you need to type here if confirm which is a javascript built-in function and here i will type are you sure you want to delete this record and if user will press yes then this if statement will be executed and here we will write the code for delete our record so to delete our record what we can do i will simply copy this ajax request from here and now we need to paste this inside our this if statement okay i think this is an extra that i have copied so i will remove this request type would be get and url would be delete.php and action would be not get data but delete data and i'm going to pass another thing which will be record id so i will type here record id and record id that's it and here if our operation will be successful what we can do we can display an alert to our user that this record has been deleted and here I will pass semicolon here we have to type our proper file name with file extension I will copy this delete.php file click a new file and we will create our new file here and from fetch.php we can do we have to include our database file here and after this we have to type here a delete query so i will type here like localhost php my admin from here we have to click on find gap database click on your table click on sql and click delete copy this query from here and type here like if is set dollar underscore get and what we can do first of all i will paste my query here and from here we can copy the action okay we can we have to remove this dot php from here because we have already typed delete file here so actually my delete file name is delete data dot php you can see here so that's why i will type my file name here and this is the action or we can define a simple action like delete only i will copy this from here and paste at this position that if it said dollar underscore get and it's okay sorry 
we have to type here like action and i will again copy this and here i will type and dollar underscore get action is equal to delete then this if statement will be executed here i will declare a variable type here double quotes and semicolon copy this query that we have copied from our php my admin and here after where open click on browse and you can see that this is our primary key id so we have to type here id is equal to single quotes and before this we have to get the record id from our this data object record id is equal to dollar underscore record id here i will press semicolon basically your this value uh, i mean this key should be matched with this one this is the php variable that we have created and our id will be stored inside this variable and we just have to copy and paste this variable at this position and similarly what we can do i have to type here like run is equal to mysqli query connection and the second parameter would be query and in the last we can open the request handle load php and from here i'm going to simply copy this open the lead data dot php and paste that here and basically if the operation will become successful status as a true will return us as a json in javascript so let's see what happened first of all i will refresh this one i will load the data from here i will click on network and i will remove this one so now when i will click on this it is asking me that are you sure you want to delete the record if i press ok you can see that a request has been gone and we okay first of all we have to press ok here and response has come to us as a true it means that our this record has been deleted so let me check currently we have five records if i click on browse you can see that, that now uh, four records are left one more thing you can do we need to refresh these contacts after delete uh, operation so we can do one more thing basically you can you know that uh, we have a load data button here and on click on this data we called a function we call this function so what we can do i can cut this from here and declare here another function like load data and inside this i will paste my this jquery code i think we should remove this one maybe another error can occur but simply now i will copy this function and paste here i will call this function here basically when this button will be clicked we have declared this code in a separate function so this code will be executed this code and now what we can do that once our operation will become successful here we can again again call our load data function so it can delete the latest record so let just test this one first of all i will click on the load data i know okay an error has been occurred okay let me get back to our original code i was wondering why this is at this position so currently what we can do simply i'm going just going to repeat this code to save time but you can create simple function for this and here after this i will declare another function uh, with the same name like load data and here i will paste that code here remove this one so basically this is our function and i need to copy this and paste this at this position like this and now let me refresh our page first of all we will load data and suppose if i want to delete this one like dummy name now you can see that are you sure you want to delete this record first of all i will press ok and when i will click on ok you can see that this record is updated i means have removed from here successfully there are another ways to delete this row but what i do i just call a function named load data and this load data again it will send a request to our server on the same file named fetch.php and from here again latest records from tbl students will be 
fetched and we will create the table rows here and again basically these records are sended here and we are just inserting that in our table body so basically in the delete process two ajax requests are sent to our server to complete this operations so friends this was the code uh, i mean technique that how you can perform delete operation using ajax this is basically one of the most important concept because if you learn ajax and javascript properly you can make your web app more impressive because the user experience will be increased and your user will don't need to wait for your page refresh simply javascript will communicate with your server and get the data or do the operation that you want to do and update that specific part of our web page this will be the responsibility of javascript if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel and basically this last five videos was upon a request of our viewer if that viewer is still watching us i have a question from him that if you like this video please leave a comment section or if you have another su suggestion that how we can improve our this content you can also write that in the comment section thanks for watching